Stand up, stand up. Feet squat style. You good. You good. You can throw up in a second. Let's go. Up. Heads up. Five. Heads forward. Put five body weight squats in your dog. Five. Five body weight squats. Big chest. This is five. Let's go. Right One. Ah. Two. What up, guys? Medium sized Asian, Bart Kwan here, checking in with one of the biggest Asians that I know, Charlie, also with the Renaissance Periodization guys. And today, they're going to put me through the hardest quad workout that I've probably done in my entire life. You don't have to say probably. <laughs> I can just tell by the smile on these guys' eyes that I think they know that I don't know what's coming. But I have seen their videos where you guys are just throwing up. And I'm like, I think most of the videos is you guys taking turns throwing up before the training. I'm like, train. <laughs> like, fuck, this is really hard. So what are we gonna go through today? Uh, we'll probably start off with some leg curls. That sounds and easy. then probably leg press or mid really shark. And then finish off with squats or lunges. So, yeah. What's so hard about all those things? Oh, you'll see. You'll see by far. Alright, let's get started. <laughs> we're doing leg curls first, then we're going to do leg press, and then we're going to do one final set on the pit shark uh, belt squat after. Some of you more science-minded folks might be asking, why are we starting with an isolation movement first? Well, a couple of reasons. One is leg curls are not systemically fatiguing, nor do they train a muscle that really is a limiting factor on the other exercises, so it's not gonna get in the way. Like if you do bicep curls first and then back after, you could be doing your back uh, no justice there, but this way it's not a problem. Also, here's the thing, after they're done leg pressing and doing the uh, belt squat, they're gonna have nothing left to give to the hamstrings. So we do the hamstrings first, blast them, and it kind of acts as a warm up for the whole rest of the body, and then afterwards, they go to leg press, and then after that, they do the belt squat, and then they're gonna be post. You guys will see that in a minute. Jared, does that sound okay to you? Absolutely. Let's do it. I know there's something tricky going on when the exercises that he named doesn't sound that crazy, but the order of exercises that we're doing is also different than what I do. I usually start with like the heavy compound movements and move towards isolation. We're gonna start with isolation first. And they did say that I'm gonna start convulsing later, like Bambi, like I can't walk, and I'm like, what, from isolation? So there is definitely some altering. I don't know, maybe some like tempo or pause or some weird stuff going on. So I am kind of worried because it sounds too good to be true. It sounds like three exercises, right? And I'm like, come on. All the way up. And then you touch gently at the bottom. Okay. One like trick that I tell people, whenever you are doing the eccentric, push your hips forward because it allows you to actually stretch the hamstring more since you kind of bottom out on this thing. Yeah. So if you're pushing your hips forward, your hamstrings can actually stretch more at the bottom. I see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't feel that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, yeah. All the way down. All the way to the touch. Yes. Good. Perfect. Very good. Perfect. Five more. You feel like you're a pilot to me, man? <laughs> good enough, Bart. Perfect. Early <laughs> So we're gonna do a strategy called myo reps or rest pauses. You're gonna do as many reps as you can, pretty close to failure. And then you're gonna rest like three to five seconds in the bottom position where the muscle is not tensed. And after that, it, your muscles recover just enough to get a couple more reps close to failure. It's those reps really close to failure that on average tend to be a little bit more positive of muscle growth than the reps further away. So this way we do multiple approaches to failure. It's kind of like getting to the sun and hanging around that burning atmosphere for a long time. Getting away and then going back in. Getting away and going back in. So time to go burn in the sun. So the first two sets were heavier, sets of around 10-ish reps. 
Now we're lightening the load to get more repetitions, more metabolite work, more of a pump, coming at growth from a slightly different mechanism now that the folks hamstrings are a little bit too tired to produce maximum forces. So we've lightened the load a little bit, which means more reps, just as much suffering. It's not time, actually. Mark, you good for one more set? Yeah, Charlie. Less momentum and more, more hamstring. What? Less momentum and more hamstring. Hips forward when you go down and just lift your hamstring. Don't be pulling yourself in. Yes, perfect, Charlie. These are freaking great, man. Oh, yeah. One more in rest. Excellent technique. Nine. Ten. Two more. Eleven. So we're leg pressing. Leg pressing for sets of 10 to 20 reps. Again, my reps with the rest between uh, sort of mini sets. We're gonna be approaching failure multiple times. You'll notice that we have pads underneath the hips there, and that's to allow the hips to stay tight instead of rounding and rounding the back, and it allows a greater range of motion to expose the quads to more mechanical stress, especially at a stretch position, which is very, very, very growth promoting and hilariously painful, so time to have some fun.
Let's go, kids. Eight, right? Eight. doing the belt squat pitch shark version and here our upper body is completely out of the movement which is good not a ton of systemic fatigue here you can really fry the quads sometimes it's hard to target the quads with this movement by itself because a lot of other hip musculature is involved but the quads have been fatigued so heavily from leg presses they're almost certainly going to be the limiting factor here and thus receive most of the stimulus uh, not sure how many sets we're going to do but the guys are pretty fried Probably gonna do one giant rest pause set, my rep set, and uh, call it a day. But you know, if somebody pisses us off, we'll do more. We'll put it to you this way, man. Just commit fully to this set. We're probably only gonna do one set. But if you give you it- promise. So I promise, <laughs> if you give it everything, okay. and that set doesn't end until we say it ends. Sound good? Oh my God. Oh, you wanna do two sets? That's cool. No, that's not one. <laughs> So here's the thing, all that psychology bullshit aside, man, every rep is good, and don't worry about how much it's gonna hurt, how many more reps you have to do, just focus on every rep being quality, that's your only job. We're gonna worry about how many reps you're doing everything else, you just do a good job every single rep. Like, you live your life one day at a time, this is one rep at a time, that's it. Lock the rest down. I live my life a quarter mile at a time. <laughs> oh shit, oh. this is gonna be a lot, a lot easier, so. <laughs> Let's do it. Give us a good eight reps to begin. Gentle touch at the bottom. Yeah, on this first one, I actually just hang out at the bottom. I'm going to show you what I want you to do. Got it. Yeah. Go down the bottom. Just hang out. You feel the equal pressure in your toes. Oh. Yeah, every time. Yes. Oh, exactly. Okay. Okay. Sense? Yeah. Sit into it. Every single time. Perfect. Perfect. Step. Two. <sighs> yes. Same way. Go. Ah. One. Easy 
on those arms. Ah. Two. Ah. Three. Down bar. Go. Yes. Ah. Rest up. Ah. Over training ah. Rest up. Rest up. Ah. Three. Ah. Four. Go. Big chest. Walk it out. Have your reps full. Yes. Oh, there that's you go. beautiful. Right. The last two like that. Four. Forward. Ah. Down. 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 Down Bart. Cast up. Uh, up, up, up. Stand up, Bart. Relax. Breathe. Breathe. We're going to do three here, and we're going to take some weight off for you, and then you're going to keep going because you're a fucking champion. Go. Now. Three. Chest up. Chinese style. There you go. Chinese style. Come on. Chest up. Last one, Bart. Come on. Let's go. Five, right away. This ain't shit. Big chest. Yes. Uh, so much better. Again. Every rep like that. Uh, again. Go, 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 go. Uh, chest up. These are bullshit. We're straight up, not counting them. Two more. Chest into the sky. There it is. Yes. Uh, One more. Big chest. Come on. Chest, what the fuck are you Perfect doing? Technique. Let's go. Stand up. Ah. One more, Bart. One more. Let's go. This is your last no set of the no day. Ah. Chest. <sighs> fuck it. One more. Let's finish up strong. Go. Chest up. Chest up. Chest up. Ah. Oh, up. Rack. Rack that weight. Good. Take the belt off quick. Take the belt off quick. Stand. Stand, Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Feet uh. squat style. You good. You good. You can throw up in a second. Let's go. Heads up. Five, Heads forward. Five body weight squats and you're done. Five. Five body weight squats. Big chest. This is time. Let's go. Break out. Uh, two. Uh, three. Uh, one more. Last one go. Uh, up. Uh, yeah. to get us 35. Five air 
squats. Let's do it. Finish up strong. Convincing pauses. One. Two. Full pause. Yep. Three. Full pause. Four. Last one, Charlie. Ah! Good job. just witnessed some Asian on Asian crime right now where I didn't think my Asian brother was going <laughs> to trick me into doing like probably the hardest workout of my last like five years maybe. <laughs> that shit was rough. You did well though. Thank you. Yeah, you held through the whole thing. And it's crazy that you were putting me through the workout and then you were like gagging and throwing up too. <laughs> so I know you weren't half assing it and so respect to you where you know, a lot of times people go, I'll take you through a hard workout. I'm not yeah. going to do it. Yeah. You do it. For sure. But you are doing it with me, so I like the camaraderie. Yeah. Same here, man. Like, I was telling you, we've had plenty of people train with us in the past, and they said they want to train hard. Yeah. You know, they want to do it. And, like, we'll say three more reps, and, like, you'll see it in their eyes where they just mentally give up. Yeah. And they'll rack the weight. And, like, at that point, you got to say, good job. But, you know, in the back of your head, you're like, you had that, what are you doing? Like you came here to work out, you came here to train, yeah. you get bigger, you said you wanted to get trained hard and want to get bigger, yeah. yet you just kind of collapsed mentally. And yeah. you, you didn't do that once. The whole Thank time you. we saw time and time and again, where I saw in your eyes like you don't want to do this, but you did it anyway. I think so my soul crossed. left the body already. <laughs> well, somewhere else. well, the good thing with not having a soul is that you don't have to worry about <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 you got nothing to worry about. Yeah, I always tell people, I think there's a difference between like working out and training. 100%. So it's like, yeah, you can get a workout in and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But like if you really want to push yourself mm -hmm. and you want to see progress and make progress and not look the same like three years later, you got to train fucking 100%. hard. And yeah, thank you for putting me through yeah. the workout. Um, where can they find all of your training or coaching? All yeah, that so stuff? if you want to see similar training, uh, sports science information, nutrition information, visit Renaissance Periodization on YouTube or at RP Strength on Instagram. Yeah, and you guys cover everything, right? Diet, uh, coaching, everything nutrition. you can think of. Yeah, nutrition to training for all different kinds of sports. Competition, you have to be covered. Yep, that's awesome. If you guys like this workout, let me know. I would hate to do it again, but if you want to see other body parts get killed, you guys know me. I'm always fucking down. See you guys next time. Peace.